voice, don't cry, shorten the interview. Brand and Tina hangs out with the new group of friends and family, and they're all kind of stuck in this go nowhere environment. The, you know, this nowhere place in 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 the Midwest. A character reply, re retorts at one point that this, this it's called Fall City, I think. It's not even on the map. And you know, they they get drunk and high, they do various you know, they they joyride, they bumper ski, and yes, that is exactly what you think it is. And just yeah, but it's not all dark. Brandon does fall in love with Lana, and even if the viewer doesn't fall in love with either of them, you definitely fall in love with their love. You want to see these two, you know, stay together, and Brandon is a bit of a dreamer, and that rubs off on others, including Lana, and they really, yeah, it, it looks like, you know, or at least we, we hope that things will go fantastic for them, but some of these, you know, some of the people in the friends group are a little sketchy, like they're, they're ex-cons and they're maybe kind of quick to violence and it gets especially dangerous when we, as you know, when we add to the mix that Brandon Tina was born Tina Brandon as, and this you know, making Brandon a a female to male non operative trans man. And this really explores the reality of living as a trans and living in this environment where there's nothing to get excited about, there's nothing to hope for or look forward to. And it's yeah, it really puts you in the place of Brandon and focuses on this love story that makes that, that really humanizes and universalizes his experience to to an extent at least and gives us something to really hold on to and to really hope for that both makes the tragedy all the more impactful but also really yeah, it gives us something to hold on to, something to to love about this otherwise potentially immensely dark situation. The movie is incredibly well filmed. Kimberly Pierce was a cinematographer before directing and writing this, and she spent years on the screenplay and casting Brandon and almost gave up. Would not have made the movie if not for the find that was and is Hilary Swank, a fantastic young actress. And yeah, this you know, this is based on the real life story, and though there are changes, it's very well researched and to to an extent at least does Brandon justice. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.